Hello and welcome to Informatica Support's video theory session. I am Karthik Rajendra. In this session, we are going to see how to configure DDB data transformation and verify whether the installation is gone through successfully or not. Here, you see a bunch of commands. We will be going through them one by one. And the assumption here is that DT, which is nothing but data transformation, is already installed. Starting from Power Center version 9.1.x, when you install Power Center, DT automatically gets installed. You can find it under Info Home slash data transformation directory. You also have an option to install DT in a standalone fashion without Power Center. If you have installed DT in a standalone fashion, then the DT installation can be found under a directory which was provided during the installation. So let's get started now. So you see this is the directory where I install DT. The first step is to configure, configure the environment so that DT is able to run the services. To configure the environment, all we have to do is run either one of these scripts, setenv.sh or setenv.csh, depending upon what shell you are on. I am on csh or c shell, so I am just going to run setenv.csh. If you are on csh or bash, then you need to run setenv.sh script. Installer puts all the environment variables that are need to be set for DT to run the services in these scripts. So these scripts need not be modified at all. All you need to run is all you need to do is to run either of the scripts depending upon which shell you are on. Now that we have run the script, Let's go ahead and run the first command, which is nothing but cm underscore console dash cm underscore console is a command line utility, so which will help us run any projects or DT services from command line. This is mainly used just for testing, because usually DT is called from other applications like Power Center or a lot of other applications like message broker or the stock etc. So this cm console underscore v basically gives the version of data transformation and also the life information machine, the OS information etc. as you can see. So this is a very good identifier to find out whether the data transformation has been installed successfully or not. If cm underscore console dash b runs fine, most probably data transformation is installed successfully. But to make b, but to be one hundred percent sure, there are other commands which we are going to run. I missed out one thing. If you are on ksh or bash, like I had pointed out, you have to run the setmini.sh script. All you have to do is just do a dot slash set in sh or dot page dot slash set in dot sh whichever works. So the next step is to run a couple of DT projects. You need not create any projects when you install DT. We provide out of the box DT projects just for testing purposes. So if you go to setup test directory, you can find two out of the box DT projects called test CMDT and test CMDT. But before running them, they have to be moved under this service DB directory. Without moving them under the service DB directory, they cannot be run. So here, 
I just ran a copy command to move both test CME and test CMDP into privacy directory. So once this is done, again, all you have to do is run the CM console command and invoke the test CME project first. You can see that we got the result saying test succeeded. The next step is to run the test TMDP project. You can see the result of test CMDP project. So basically, both these projects have run fine. Test CMDP is a very simple project. Test CMDP is a more complex project which uses the Java and preprocessors. So testing both along with the CM underscore console dash root command basically tells us that the B2B data transformation installation has gone through successfully. So if you are planning to use data transformation along with power center, these three commands is good enough indication that B2B data transformation installation is successful. You can go ahead con and configure RDP with Power Center and start using it. In case you are going to call BT from some other application apart from Power Center using Java API or C API, there are a couple of other tests that you can do. Let's do them one by one. So again, you need to go into the setup test directory. Here you can see C API and Java API directories. So first let's go into the C API directory. And here we have the C API test. So all you need to do is to run the C API test with one of the services that we had copied to the service DB directory. And you can see that CAPI test has succeeded. Similarly, we can run the Java API test too. So here again, you can see the run Java API test script. So all you need to do is run the script against one of the services that we copy to the service DB directory. So you can see the Java API test also succeeded. So now we have done all the tests and this proves that DT installation is successful and DT is ready to be used with any application. Thanks for seeing this video. We would definitely like to hear back from you. So to provide your feedback, please, please email support videos at informatica.com or you can also send us feedback by going to twitter.com slash infosupport. Thank you.